Hello everyone, so today we are going to discuss about extraocular muscles of the eye and these are the muscles which help in the movement of the eyeball, right? So we are moving forward. So what is extraocular muscles? There are total 6 extraocular muscles in each eye, 4 recti muscles and 2 oblique muscles. Now what are the rectus muscles? These are four recti muscles which are superior, inferior, lateral and medial rectus. And there are two oblique muscles which are superior oblique and as well as the inferior oblique muscles of the eye. Now the nerve supply of these muscles is that oculomotor supplies to superior rectus, medial rectus, inferior rectus and inferior oblique. And abducens nerve supplies to the lateral rectus and superior oblique is supplied by the trochlear nerve. So now what is the function of extraocular muscles? So the medial rectus is used or helps the eye to move towards the nose. So this movement, this type of movement which is towards the nose is adduction and the movement which is away from the nose is abduction. So lateral rectus helps in abduction while medial rectus helps in adduction. These are the single muscles which have only single functions, right? These two are the muscles who have only single functions. They don't have any tertiary or secondary functions. So they are adduction and abduction. Over here you can see that the right eye is moving away from the nose and the left eye is moving towards the nose. So away movement of the from the nose is the abduction and towards the nose movement is known as abdu uh, adduction, right? Adduction. So what is the function of lateral rectus that it abducts the eye and medial rectus is it adducts the eye. So now over here, what is the function of superior rectus that it elevates in abduction, right? So in abducted form, the condition when the eye is away from the nose, so it elevates, it helps the eyeball to elevate and then it helps in, in torsion of the eye, right? Or in cyclo movement of the eye. So the primary function of superior rectus is to elevate the eye, right? So the secondary function is to entort the eye and the tertiary function, the third function of the superior rectus is that it helps in the adduction of the eyeball as well. So over here in the diagram you can see that eye is in right eye is in abducted and in upward form. So this is done. The elevation in the abducted form is done by the superior rectus. So now we have inferior rectus. The function, primary function of the inferior rectus is to depress the eyeball in the abducted state. So now you are watching away from the nose and your eye is depressed. You are watching abducted and downward form. So which muscle helps in the depression in that abducted state is the inferior rectus. The secondary function of inferior rectus is to extort the eyeball and the Tertiary function is to adduct the eye. So you should remember that the recti muscles help in the adduction of the eyeball, right? And in this picture, you can see that the right eye is in the uh, downward and abducted state. So in this state, which muscle helps the eye to depress is the inferior rectus. So now we are going to discuss oblique muscles. The speciality of the oblique muscle is that they have a turn in while having the insertion, right? So from the originating point to the insertion, they have a turn. That is why their function is the torsional movements. So the primary function of inferior oblique is extorsion, right? M moving the up eye outside and the Elevation in the adducted form is the secondary function of the inferior oblique. So when the eye is to moving towards and in upward direction, towards the nose and in upward direction, in that condition which muscle helps to the elevate the eye, it is the inferior oblique. And the tertiary function of the inferior oblique is abduction, right? So over here in the diagram, you can see that the eye is moving upward and in the adducted state. 
so in this kind of movement the inferior oblique helps the eye to move upward right so it helps in the elevation so the second muscle oblique muscle is the superior oblique the superior oblique helps the eye to intort right so it helps in the cyclo ya torsional movement towards the nose and the secondary function of superior oblique is to depress while adducting state or while adducting and the tertiary function of the superior oblique is to abduct the eye right so now over here in the picture you can see that the eye is an in an adducted state it is towards the nose and downward state so in this condition which muscle helps to depress the eye while adduction is the superior oblique so remember that the superior oblique or the ob simple oblique muscles help in the abduction of the eyeball and recti helps in the adduction of the eyeball so now on the basis of the function of these muscles i have drawn this image for you guys for the remembrance if you have learned this image you can easily remember the function of every muscle right so you can see over here that superior rectus and inferior rectus are in abducted state so they help in the elevation and depression respectively right when the eye is in abducted form and the inferior oblique and superior oblique are in towards the nose so the inferior oblique helps in elevation and superior oblique helps in depression while the eye ab adducts right while the eye is towards the nose and medial rectus helps in the adduction and lateral rectus helps in the abduction of the eye so this is the easiest way to remember the function of these all muscles right so this was all about the extraocular muscles their functions and the nerve supply to these muscles uh, in case of any query comment in comment section thank you so much